What's going on, Wolfpack? It's K Spade, the prospect. I'm back today with a brand new Miami Hurricane NCAA football dynasty video. The number two in the nation, Miami Hurricanes. That's kind of controversial, too. I feel like we should be the number one team in the nation, but that's neither here nor there. We are back today with a brand new video, man. Before I get to the field, I want to talk about Brad Kaya. 27 of 28 in his last game, over 300 yards passing, no INTs. This kid has, without a shadow of a doubt, been the most consistent player in this green and orange so far this season. He has definitely peaked. You know what I'm saying? Like, every year we were saying he was that guy, he got the potential, but he finally put it all together, and thank God, I think he's a senior this season. I mean, if you don't put it together this year, we're going to all talk about what could have been and what should have been. You know how we do. Anyway. For the first time since I've been doing this series, I have elected to go with a two-back system. Now, normally, I like to take a feature back and just run that guy until he can't run no more. Look at Mark Walton. But this right here is the reason why I've elected to go with a dual-back system. Mark Walton is a great player. He brings something completely different to the table than Jarvis Williams, but I like Jarvis' speed. Jarvis is 93 speed. I think Walton is like 89 speed, so... I'm using both of them. You're going to see both of them get carries. they probably going to get, you know, like mirror carries. You might see about uh, 15 to 20 carries each for these guys. I've really been trying to do that so far this season. Now, Miami has looked phenomenal this year. I feel like we should be the number one team in the nation. And we just keep beating teams by big margins, trying to get these voters to change their mind. And they kind of hating on the Canes. They do that in real life, though. I'm not worried about that. And I don't mean to disrespect Ohio. But I'm looking at their team. I'm looking up and down the sideline. I don't really see anybody over there who can stop this train called the Canes. You know what I'm saying? We're kicking a whole lot of ass. We're taking a whole lot of names. I don't see Ohio stopping us. At the same time, when I say that, I realize how dangerous that is, man, because we see upsets every week. Every time I play this game, the studio updates show us an upset. And, and we're not above that. You have to respect every opponent. Even though we're looking at Ohio like y'all y'all ain't it. Y'all not the Buckeyes, you know? Anyway, I talked all that trash. Ohio marched all the way down the field. They got inside the red zone, but they had to settle for three. So I might better shut up, you know, and, and get my skills up. Right here, check us out on first and ten, man. Derek Clark, somebody commented in the last video and said, you got a J. Rice and a D. Clark. Those are like San Francisco 49er legends thinking about Jerry Rice and Dwight Clark. And I said, you know what? I was saying that the Rice kid, I kind of jokingly said he was like, a nephew or something like that of Jerry Rice, but damn, wait a minute, what if we got a, uh, you know, a family member of Dwight Clark too, like we balling out here, first and ten man, we go play action to Walton, they got their eyes in the backfield, that's what Mark Walton makes you do, Braxton Berrios goes across the middle, gets the catch, and maneuvers his way to the end zone, he kind of looked like an old Tecmo Bowl player, how he was kind of darting in and out, but look at Braxton Berrios, I told you guys coming into this season that we was going to put a ton of pressure on Barrios. We need him to excel. Like, he got to be that dude for us. Now, even though he's not very fast, he's got great hands. He's got tremendous catching traffic, and he runs a nice route. So, we expect a lot out of him. So far, he's answered the call. 14-3 Miami. Let's see if this defense can do a little bit better. Now, I know what y'all going to say. Spade, you held him to three. But this is Ohio. I expect him to three and out against this defense. I really do. Of course, they're running that hurry up, no huddle offense that sometimes gives this Miami defense a bit of a problem. Sometimes. Second and short right here. Duckworth with time in the pocket. This kid was wide open, man. We let him throw a damn hot air balloon. The ball was in the air forever, and we kind of had a deep zone. It was a safe check down underneath the zone. I guess I'm not too mad about that because eventually we make Ohio punt. Miami offense back on the field, and you see Braxton Barrio still going to work. It's early in this game, and Braxton looks like He's about to have a big day. Jarvis Williams right here in the open field. Man, I got to go in and tweak the threshold, y'all, because Jarvis is 93 speed, but he don't look any faster than Mark Walton. And I, I, I know he's faster because I've seen the ratings right here. This is a problem that we kind of haven't seen so far this year. Now, we know Brad Kaya every once in a while to throw an errant pass, but he kind of controlled that so far this season. We haven't had to deal with it. That was a bad read on my behalf. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's Kaya's first INT of the season. Maybe second, but I think first. Anyway, Kane's defense back on the field. That was third and 11 right there. Duckworth found the receiver and got it to him, but not in time. He couldn't stay in bounds. 
you know, they end up having to plan it away. Jarvis looked like a turtle out here. I am going to find out what's going on with Jarvis. Is he injured? Is he playing through injury or what? Brad Kaya goes play action, man. Look at those Ohio linebackers. Golly, man. They got their eyes in the backfield. They watching these running backs. And it's messing them up. Because Kaya is dotting them up after they, you know, kind of got their eyes in the backfield. You got to keep your eye on the pigskin. Clark's not able to hold on to the pass right here. Miami settles for a field goal. Man, a hell of a field goal, if I don't say so myself. That one was 50-plus yards. So we got a 17-3 game. We're here in the second quarter. I feel like if we get another stop and another Miami score, that's probably it. But look at Ohio. They getting into their playbook. Now here comes some of the trickeration. They going option. I've seen, like, read option stuff, but now I'm starting to see, like, some of this trickeration stuff. They really trying to do some wild stuff. We go into the half with Miami still having the lead right here, as you can see. Over 100 extra yards through the air. So passing the ball is really what's hurting this Ohio team. First play of the second half, they go triple option. The quarterback got destroyed on the play, but he knew he was going to get hit. Got a perfect pitch over to the receiver, and the receiver breaks the tackle around the five-yard line and gets into the end zone still. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what that coach went into this. Went into the half and said to these kids, but that's a hell of a play. And that quarterback got cracked. He got hit. I mean, he knew he was going to get hit. But that's the way you want to execute a triple option. Okay. Okay, I, I'm going to wait now. Like, I'm going to wait. It's a seven-point game to Ohio. Like, that's just crazy to me. Mark Walton out here running the ball. I swear something wrong with my game, yo. This is the slowest my running backs have ever looked. And both of these guys are faster than Gus and Yearby. So I don't know why they was looking so slow this game. It's like, you know what coaches tell you not to do before the game? Because you'll lose your legs. Come on, man. Well, my athletes at? You know what the coach say. These dudes must have... Had a party. That's all I'm going to say. They must have had a party. Anyway, Kane's offense out there, man. Kaya looks great. He had that early interception, but he definitely buckled back down. So far, he looks like the man. Third and goal, they go play action because why? Ohio keeps staring in the backfield. Right there, they actually didn't bite on the play action, but they had everybody drop back in the deep zone. Njoku right there for the quick reception to get into the end zone. 27-13 Miami. I want my defense to come. Come on, Johnson. I want my defense to come out and make a big play for, like, confidence. I'm not saying they lost their confidence, but they just gave up, like, a 90-yard play. I want to see them make a play. Look at this right here. This was supposed to be an option, too. The Miami defense went to the, the running back of the receiver who was there for the pitch, and the quarterback kept it and picked up the first down. So he's really reading the defense so far. He's playing it smart. He's doing a good job. Third and long for Duckworth. He's got time in the pocket. At the last minute, nobody was open. He thought about running it, and the Canes was right there like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Now that's the stop I feel like we needed. Miami offense back on the field. The running back still look like turtles or tortoises or something. I don't know what the hell they look like. They look slow. That's all I know. On second down, Kaya goes play action, goes across the middle to Barrios. Barrios makes the catch. That's a 12-yard reception, but even more importantly, that reception puts Barrios over 100 yards for the day. We got a whole nother quarter to go. I told y'all early on, Braxton looked like he looked over at those Ohio DBs and he saw breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like, he about to eat out here. Walton got great blocking. Look, why is he moving so damn slow? What happened to my game, yo? I'm going to go check my settings. This is ridiculous. It looked like I got offensive linemen running the football. What is going on? Walton right here gets tackled in the backfield. 66 on the offensive line gets blown up. Check that play out if you need to. Miami has to settle for three. So we still got a lead. Oh, I thought it was a pick right there. We still got a lead. We got a safe lead. But when you consider how bad we've been beating opponents, 30 to 13 to Ohio kind of sounds like it's too close for comfort. You know what I'm saying? For me, for my liking. No huddle offense for Ohio. Duckworth, who has been super efficient, if I don't say so myself. That's another thing I got a problem with because the defense, keep in mind this year, our defense is our pride and joy. That's our staple. Even when things don't look great on the offensive end, we expect our defense to come out here and put in work. And this guy, Duckworth, is probably completing about 90% of his passes. It is crazy. He goes read option again. Sheldrick Redwine bites. What are you doing, Sheldrick? 
and Duckworth gets into the end zone on the keeper. It's crazy because Sheldrick was there. He had a play, and he had his eyes on the wrong person. I don't know what's going on with my team, yo. I don't know. Anyway, Kaya in the offense back on the field. We finally get a look at Jerry Rice's nephew. Welcome to the game, kid. Now, he is our special teams guy, so he's returning kicks and punts. But as for getting on the field making catches, that's our first time seeing. Look at Jarvis Williams, yo. What is it? Somebody help me out. I'll be checking the comment section. What the hell has happened to my running backs? Why are they moving so slow? Why? Kaya right here finds Lawrence Cage on the sidelines. Just wide open, chilling like he was at a picnic. The pressure gets to Kaya right here, but Kaya stays in the pocket long enough to get the pass off. The fullback, Chris Herndon, is right there inside the five. After he catches the ball, just turn around and walk in the end zone. There ain't nobody right there who can stop him. So this Canes game still looks good, but I don't know. I just got super high expectations for these guys. We draw the curtains on the game. The final score is 44-20. to 20. Kind of sounds good, but if I told you we only beat Ohio by 24 points, would you be all right with that? Because I'm not. So we about to take it back to the drawing board, yo. I want to see what went wrong. I got to find out what's going on with my running backs. But in the meantime, we are still undefeated. We're still the number two team in the nation. And that's all I got for today. Brad Kaya, hell of a game, kid. Way to bounce back out for that INT. I hope you guys enjoy this game, man. Enjoy this gameplay. Enjoy this series. Those of you that hit me up and say, Spade, when is the next Kane's video? I love that y'all do that. That lets me know y'all really enjoy this stuff, man. So bang the like button as always. If you're new here, man, subscribe to the channel. And I'm out the next time, y'all. Peace.